going on guys? I'm Sean T. I'm going to be bringing you guys a little bit of a different video. Actually, I'm going to be doing one of these sit down commentaries, which I actually haven't done in a long time, but there's a lot of stuff I just want to talk to you guys about. As BO3 is coming closer to coming out, I just keep thinking about this stuff more and more, so I just really had to make a video about it and kind of let out my thoughts and opinions, and hopefully you guys will understand. This is a pretty controversial video. Like, a lot of people in the community have different views on this, but I think most of you guys will kind of understand what I'm saying and agree with me. There's going to be some people out there that won't, but it's whatever. But before I say anything, I do want to thank Valor. He gave me this gameplay. It's a really sick gameplay and actually has a shot at the end from Salsa So make sure you check out both those beasts in the description below But anyways a huge topic for discussion in the community lately has been about how trick shotting is dying How teams aren't doing as well as they used to anymore Clips really don't have any value and everything overall is just really shitty And I know Kiwis has made a lot of videos talking about this kind of talking about what needs to happen to make this community fun and good again And that's kind of what I'm gonna be talking about But I'm gonna go a little extra further with it and really talk about about what exactly is going to be happening and why these things need to happen. So the main problem with trick shotting right now is people just really aren't interested anymore. It's extremely boring to watch and clips just have no value whatsoever. And a lot of this is due to the fact that everything's pretty much fake nowadays. You have all the explosive bullets and all that bullshit. And there's also the fact that everything's just stale now. I mean, we've been playing the same games for the longest time and it's just getting boring. It's just not fun to watch anymore. But I think the biggest issue going on right now is that there's just not enough people coming into the trick shotting community. Now, you can argue all you want and say, well look at the whole you know entertainment side of the community it's really growing but as for clips and stuff it's definitely dying it's going way downhill and people just don't give a shit about montages and stuff anymore and I think the main reason is that there's just not enough people coming into the community not enough people are being exposed to trick shotting and the reason for this is that we're playing old games I mean our most played Call of Duty is Black Ops 2 which is like a three four year old game now most people that are average Call of Duty players are not looking that up on YouTube they're looking up for the more newer Call of Duty so when Black Ops 3 comes out, these this is my opinion right here. I think that most people should stay on Black Ops 3 for this entire year. And you will see so much growth in the community. You will see so many people getting into trick shotting. You know, more people will be exposed to it. And it'll just all work out. And a lot of you guys will disagree with me, but we've already seen this happen with Phase when Black Ops 2 came out. They stayed on that game for the entire year. They did a little bit of MW3 at the end, but for the most part, they stayed on Black Ops 2. And you saw huge growth in their team and the community. And now I think it's time for us to make that same exact decision that FaZe made back in 2012 because the reason they made that decision back then is because there was a lot of problems with people setting up you know everything was just getting repetitive it was getting stale pretty much all the problems we have right now in the community so you know if they made that choice and it worked I feel like we got to do the same thing I think if we stay on Black Ops 3 for the year everything's gonna work out now does that mean no multi-cod whatsoever for that year of course not multi-cod's great I love seeing variety obviously I wouldn't even be in red if it wasn't for multi-cod and playing different games and shit so obviously I'm gonna support it but I still think that Black Ops 3 has to be the most played game if we do that it should be very minimal of other Call of Duties mostly Black Ops 3 and we should still stay Black Ops 3 only for like the first half a year not even the first few months like half a year a good amount of time we should stay Black Ops 3 only now I can't speak for the other bigger teams out there but I do know for a fact that Red's pretty much doing everything I said earlier when it comes to staying on Black Ops 3 and stuff we're also gonna be trying to do some other stuff that will hopefully bring the value back into you know trick chatting and clips and whatnot for example what we want to do is when Black Ops 3 first comes out, we're not going to be playing TDM or going for TDM trick shots, none of that shit. We're going to keep it mostly search clips, a little bit of free for all, and you know, try to bring the value back in clips because obviously TDM shots will just ruin it. I mean, most people are just going to be hitting some crazy ass random shots in TDM, and the standards are just going to get fucked when the game first comes out instead of you know going for realistic shots in search. So that's what we want to kind of do when it comes to that. Now, there is one decision that Red's going to be making that I know will piss a ton of people off, and it's that we want to stay most mostly next gen only now before you guys freak the fuck out on me go down in the comment section and tell me all this stuff like you know not everyone can afford a next gen console and stuff just know we know this we put a lot of thought in this we understand this but this is a decision that we're consciously making and the reason why we're doing this is because it's all part of moving forward you know the reason we want to move to black ops 3 and not continuously play these older cods i mean the future of call of duty is going to be on the next gen consoles not the last gen consoles if you look at the last gen version of black ops 3 and all the stuff they're taking out you can tell it's a really incomplete game and by next year I'm pretty sure they won't even have COD on the last gen console so that's why we're trying to move forward we're trying to move along and before you guys say anything like oh it's unfair because not everyone can afford one and all that just know that we're a 200,000 subscriber gaming team that's trying to create quality content for our viewers it's not about what's fair it's about what's going to support our team the best and that's why we're making that decision hopefully you guys can understand that and the last gen consoles have been getting absolutely hacked to shit as well so 
you have all these explosive bullets. A lot of people own two consoles, so it's easier to set up and stuff, and we're just trying to stray away from that. We want Black Ops 3 to be a clean game. We don't want any setting up. We don't want any of the faking, any of that shit. We're trying to stray away from that, and moving the next gen will help us be able to do that. Now, when Black Ops 3 first comes out, we'll obviously be lenient towards the last gen consoles, because we do understand that it's not going to be completely hacked to shit, and a lot of people aren't going to be getting their next gen consoles till the holiday season. However, I do highly suggest you guys get a next gen console if you don't have one currently because that's how you're really going to make it in this community. That's where it's going. It's heading forward to the next gen consoles and that's where you want to be. But anyways guys, that's going to wrap up this commentary. I hope you guys did enjoy. I honestly think that everything I said could really put this community back on track. A lot of people do disagree with me. I see people on Twitter all the time saying shit like Black Ops 3 won't save trick shotting. Just know it's not the game that saves trick shotting. It's the community. We have to do everything right and I think that if we do everything that I said, it will really come together and start growing again. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. If you guys want to leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me. If you disagree, don't be afraid to say it. Just don't be an asshole about it. I'm a very open-minded individual. <laughs> but anyways guys, I'm Sean. I'm out. Peace.